Hello everybody, um, I have been working on a small development board um, based on AtSamD11. Uh, the idea is to essentially act like uh, one of these FTDI um, USB to serial uh, adapter, um, but uh, also uh, provide a dual um, UART port, or in other words serial port, um, so with this type of board, um, development board you have one USB one serial uh, here you have one USB two virtual COM ports uh, this particular chip also offers a third um, UART um, interface which I am using uh, as a direct interface to be able to interface with something else um, so with this current setup uh, as it is now I have uh, here the ICE connected um, an FTDI connecting to one of the um, UART port and the other two UART ports being um, uh, emulated as a virtual COM or CDC COM, uh, COM port and uh, it's connected currently with my laptop. Uh, so perhaps I could give you a quick demo of uh, the features available. So on the screen I have three um, hyperterminal uh, Windows. One is a direct connection to the microcontroller. Uh, the other two here, they are essentially emulated CDC um, uh, virtual serial port. So I'm able to uh, type and essentially get a um, echo back. So similarly here. Um, so that's how it works and uh, so I, for the third um, serial interface I have actually uh, implemented um, a command line which uh, essentially gives you some uh, get and set commands to utilize some of the other additional pins, I.O. pins in the uh, microcontroller. So you can uh, get uh, analog inputs, I, I have made available two analog inputs, uh, two digital input inputs and uh, uh, to digital output so we can get uh, AI and this is in uh, integer numbers between 0 to 4095 uh, so that's 12 um, bit um, so that's the, that's the analog uh, readout of the two pins uh, then you can also get the analog readout sorry digital readouts of the two digital inputs and then you also have the readouts of the digital outputs which are currently set to zero. You can also set them uh, from here, so set D0 uh, digital output zero equal to one and so if I go get uh, DO I should get a one for the first digital output. I can set it back, set DO uh, zero to zero um, and get DO again so you can see that it, it is set. So this is this is actually toggling the uh, digital I/O in the microcontroller. So what does it look like um, in the project? Uh, the source code is written in Atmel Studio, um, and uh, the with the two UART virtual COM port and a third one for command prompt, um, it's it's taken up uh, about nine almost 10 kilobytes and a RAM utilization of 2.6 uh, K out of 4 K uh, that is uh, available in the chip. I haven't decided whether to disclose the uh, source code um, uh, public. Um, I think I could make the hex available for other people. I'm actually thinking of um, uh, perhaps selling some of the this uh, a few of these development board. Uh, so we'll see how things go. And uh, here is a final, um, a better look at the board again. Uh, you can see that it has a uh, ground pin available, 3.3 uh, volts, and then the RX TX of the first port, virtual COM port. Uh, it also has uh, CTS and RTS uh, for flow control. If you need to use it um, as a half duplex, uh, then you need to pull up the RTS pin. Uh, at present, uh, with the demo that I did, I connected the RX and TX pin uh, for the echo back on the hyper terminal. Uh, and uh, on this side, you have the um, uh, the port, the B port uh, for the second virtual COM port. 
and um, you can see that uh, you have the analog in zero, analog in one, digital out one, and uh, digital out zero, and digital in zero, and digital in one. Uh, there's also a reset switch uh, available uh, on board, and the data LED uh, blinks every time there is a, uh, a data transfer uh, occurrence on the uh, virtual COM port, USB to virtual COM port. These additional pinouts, they are essentially the uh, programming pinouts for um, serial debug, and uh, also uh, I have made some um, uh, test points for reusing the serial debug uh, IO and clock pins as the third UART TX RX pins. The board also uh, comes with uh, the 3.3 volt uh, regulator and it also has um, the uh, analog uh, reference 2.25 uh, 2.5 volts reference for measuring the analog um, accurately. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much. If you guys have any interest on the board, uh, do let me know, uh, as I am thinking of uh, perhaps uh, producing a few and uh, selling them in future.